Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Hugh I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. Along with my wig, I also received a wig cap and a removable elastic band. The wig that I'll be working with today is a 24 inch curly 13 by 4 lace front wig. So the hairline is pre-plucked, but the knots are not bleached. I did bleach the knots off camera. This wig has baby hairs. The cap construction includes three combs and an adjustable strap. This is such a beautiful curl pattern. I'm obsessed with the fullness of this wig. I'm obsessed with the curl pattern and I think this is gonna be a really, really cute look. I'm super excited about it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is get rid of some of that extra density from the hairline just so that it could be thinner in the front and gradually fade into a thicker hairline so that it can look more natural. To do that, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. Hey babe. Okay, so now that the knots are bleached and the hairline has been plucked, it's time to style this hair. I'm gonna grab a section of hair, detangle it with my detangling comb, spray it with water, and then grab a maximum hold styling gel, apply that to the hair, use my Denman brush, and from the ends on upwards, I'm gonna define those curls with the brush. I'm going to follow those steps until I get to the front of the head and when I get to the frontal I am going to brush that hair straight out of my face because I'm going for a very sleek wet look with all of the hair going backwards. Okay, so the last step in this styling process will be adding perm rods to the ends.
Okay, so it's the next morning and it's time to apply this wig. Let's install it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is, of course, clean my forehead off with 99% alcohol. After that, I'll be grabbing Scalp Protector by Walker Tape and applying that to my hairline. Grabbing the wig, I'm just gonna place it on my head and line up the combs to make sure that it is in its proper placement. I'm making sure that the ear tabs are fitting perfectly on top of my ears and that the center of the wig is directly in the middle of my forehead. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna make two slices in the extra lace and that is creating three sections. Working in sections, I'm just gonna pin the left and right sections out of my face and focus on the center first. So I'm gonna grab Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel in the black tube and apply a thin layer of that to my hairline. Using a blow dryer, I'm gonna blow dry it for about five to 10 seconds to make it tacky. And then grabbing the extra lace, I'm going to pull it forward and place it directly on top of that tacky gel that I just put down. So I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right sides of the lace frontal. And then I'm gonna grab my headscarf and allow it to set for about 15 minutes. Grabbing my scissors, I'm just gonna cut away that extra lace. All right, so where you see the lighter parts of lace, that's actually where the lace is lifting up. And to get rid of that, all you will have to do is spray, got to be free spray on top of that. Put your head scarf on again and it will melt completely in your skin and you will not be able to see that part that is lifting up. So don't worry about that. So that's definitely one downside of cutting the lace off while the wig is on your head. But of course, with anything, it can be fixed. So now I'm just going to take the amount of baby hairs that I want and then I am going to cut them to the length that I want them to be. So the two longest pieces will be spiral curled and then I'll have a swoop behind that and then for my sideburns on the left and right side I'll have those spiral curled as well. So before curling the baby hairs, of course, I want to make sure that the lace is laying completely down and looking melted onto my head. So I'm just going to grab the Got To Be Free spray and spray that along the front portion of the lace that is lifting up. And then I'm going to put my headscarf on for about five minutes to allow it to dry and set. And then I'll be ready to style the baby hairs. All right, so now that the baby hairs are curled in the sections that I want curled, I wanna make sure that they are kind of sticking down onto my head and not just flying all over the place. So I am gonna grab some edge control and apply that to the swoop that I was telling you about earlier and also to the front portion of the curl. Then I'm gonna put my headscarf on for about five more minutes and then I'll reveal this beautiful, beautiful wig. Okay, to finish off the look, I will be applying a wet look gel as well as a hair polisher for maximum shine and wet look effect. All 
I am just so obsessed with this hairstyle, with the look, with it overall. Let's chat down below in the comment section. What should I name this wig? Let me know your suggestions down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to Hurella and the wig that I am wearing down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. I, I, I.